What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. And uh, if you're watching this video, you uh, probably have some questions. Uh, first off, just want to let you guys know we're going to be rebranding this channel for the second time in, I think, a couple of years. Of those guys who've been uh, subscribed to this channel, I think there's 37,606 of you as of the making of this video. That's probably going to go up and down over the next couple <laughs> couple months, but we'll see where it goes. Um, this was a Minecraft channel, and then I quit Minecraft for a long time um, after YouTube burnout kicked in, and then we, we moved over to uh, briefly, and I mean very briefly, I think I made three videos uh, doing rideshare uh, stuff where we talked about Lyft and Uber and, and things like that. Um, we are going to be completely redoing this channel now. Uh, this channel is going to basically be focusing on uh, kind of my journey. Um, for those of you guys who know, I, I just recently stopped being a full-time YouTuber and streamer, and I am now a uh, an IT guy. I, I do basic uh, break fix, uh, replacement hardware, uh, installation, imaging, uh, kind of like uh, sort of help desky type stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm looking to improve that and improve my, 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 my position, so to speak, I guess, my knowledge. And uh, that's, IT, you know, has a lot of self-teaching that is required, in my opinion, if you want to get ahead. And, uh, you know, I've worked my ass off and other things, and I think I'm good to go on this, too. So uh, we're going to be following uh, a couple different things. Uh First off, uh, you know, like I said, I graduated this summer with a business degree, unfortunately, instead of an IT degree. But when I got that degree, I didn't realize I was going to be, uh, when I got my, started my business degree again, like I, it was an IT degree, I moved into business. Uh, I was in the middle of doing YouTube for a living and I was like, well, shit, you know, it's been, it's been seven years since I've done anything other than YouTube. I need to do something YouTube related and marketing um, was what I thought was where I was going to head. I knew nothing about marketing at the time, um, you know, just other than what I do on YouTube and, you know, all that stuff. And after getting a marketing degree, uh, while there is some interest there, you know, I, I kind of enjoy, you know, doing SWOT analysis and, you know, strengths and weaknesses of companies and, you know, how you might move into different demographics and things like that. And that is interesting. I don't know if I want to do it as a career, uh, mainly because a lot of that is is very salesy oriented and uh you know it's based on metrics and things along those lines and if you don't you know drive x number of sales and x number of time you don't have a job and i i don't really want to live some i don't really want to do for a living something where i feel like i've got a, a gun to my head at all times uh, i feel like i've done that for the last seven years so we're going back into it i have a nice it job now that's uh, hopefully going to let me grow and uh, is going to be a nice springboard for my career over the next decade so uh, since I did not go to college for that, uh, for IT related stuff, I need to, you know, kind of build up my own knowledge base. And like I said, a lot of that is going to be self-taught. So um, I do a lot of uh, looking around on the system administrator Reddit. If you are interested in this line of stuff, I strongly recommend system administrator. System admin Reddit, uh, Linux admin Reddit is good too if you want to be a Linux admin. Uh, I'm kind of looking that way as it seems AWS in my current understanding, which is extremely, extremely, extremely limited, is uh, primarily Linux. That doesn't mean you can't do Linux or AWS with Windows, but from my understanding, a lot of it currently is based around uh, Linux, and I believe Microsoft and Windows is kind of more focused on Azure, but again, my understanding of the differences between Azure and AWS is still very much on the novice side of things, hopefully together over the next six months to a year. In two years, that will change. So uh, Linux is something that I have a very, very um, novice level of understanding. Uh, I can kind of navigate. I can do directory pulls. I can, uh, you know, follow some basic tutorials on the internet that I find. But anytime we get into anything complex, uh, my my Linux knowledge pretty much dies. Linux is not currently my primarily uh, primary operating system, which may change. But for right now, I've been a Windows user for the last, uh, well, since DOS 6.22 and uh, Windows 3.11 back in the back in the day. So uh, Linux is uh, something I've, I've run game servers on. Uh, I ran uh, TDK Network, was run primarily 100% on Linux. And uh, at the time, <laughs> I didn't know anything. Uh, by the time we were done running TDK Network, you know, I knew about screens uh, and, and some basic stuff. But again, you know, for me, it was mainly just uploading things via FTP, 
bashing it, hoping it ran. If it didn't run, yanking it off, take a look at it, redo, and a, a hell of a lot of Google. So uh, this right here, what you guys are looking at is a, is a post by iConrad on the Linux admin forums, or sorry, Reddit. Uh, I believe I was linked here by a couple posts. Ooh, excuse me, off of the system admin forums, which uh, led to this. And this right here is a massive, massive guide. And if you can see right here, it says, I would expect it to take between three and six months to go from, I think I'm good with computers, to achieving all of these. Now, um, I, I think we're going to be leaning more towards the three-month goal, but that might, keep in mind, you know, I have I have a full-time job. I technically have a part-time job with YouTube, at least at the moment. And so this is kind of a side gig. Uh, I do have uh, a few servers that we are going to be using to do this. Um, I'll be posting kind of a home lab preview or showcase once I get everything up and running. Um, I've got basically I've got a ton of decommissioned servers that were being tossed and uh, I know two of them are Dell servers that are functional. Uh, the rest of them are HP ProLiant servers. I think they're Gen 7s and Gen 8s and I, I don't know what functionality they are currently in. Um, I have to you know get them racked because uh, I, I got a rack too. Uh, get them racked, get their, their RAM tweaked and then see if they boot and then you know go through the errors and all that stuff. But that's a little further down the road. We don't need, uh, I think I have Let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven HPs and then two Dells. So it's, it's a lot of stuff, but uh, most of it's garbage. So, or older stuff, you know, it's, it's not like, you know, badass shit. It's now the, the Dells are pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. I got really lucky with the Dells, but the HPs are kind of meh, uh, especially since uh, my, my hard drives are probably dying on the HPs. So. Uh, and, and I don't quite understand. I've never touched servers before until I got into this. I was aware of them. I knew about, I've used them remotely, you know, through Putty and stuff like that from when we ran TDK Network and such. I've never actually physically touched a server until this. So it's been kind of cool to learn, you know, how to rack it, how to, you know, mount it, how to, you know, access it, open it up, take a look at, you know, the difference between, you know, because I built most of my PCs with a few exceptions. Uh, so it's kind of cool, the architecture and the way they've got them set up. And it's really nice, the racking system. You can pull this computer all the way out. It's floating in air, basically, and then you can access it, do what you need to do, close it up, sh uh, shove it back in the rack. So it's, uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'm looking to learning. So this right here is basically a, a loose form that kind of walks you through. And I'll, I'll have the link in the video description down below. Um, it is a 20 step process where you go through and more or less start basic and work your way to advance. Um, it's all basically virtualization. So, you know, the hypervisor, um, and again, I'm please understand that this, as I'm making this video, I am beginning my process of learning what system administrators deal with. So I'm going to be saying things incorrectly. Um, and maybe have some some understandings wrong and that's going to change as time goes by a lot of this stuff I have a, a theory understanding of uh, and a loose understanding of but I don't actually oh my god so sorry I don't have a I don't have hands-on experience with it so my understanding may be slightly off uh, but my understanding of a hypervisor is basically it is a mm, a management tool that you use to run virtual machines. So like Hyper-V on Windows, you load it up uh, and then you can run uh, virtual machines inside of that. Uh, Linux, I believe, has its own hypervisor built in. Um, this guide calls for using CentOS 6. I'm not sure if we're gonna be using CentOS 6 or CentOS 7. Uh, this was made three years ago. CentOS 8 beta, from my understanding, is about to come out first quarter of 2019, if not already. So, I, I'm sorry. The release is going to happen in first quarter. Uh, my understanding is they do a six-month beta test, so we should be getting CentOS 8 soon. So uh, we may start with CentOS 7. Uh, I'm not sure yet, um, although it's kind of irrelevant because down here at the end, 5, 6, and 7, we're going to be doing uh, basically everything we've already done on those. So we'll be getting around to it. Uh, but basically, the, the gist of this guide is you know, learn virtualization, start from basics with you know just some basic management build up to where you are you know creating unattended installations you're able to quickly make more virtual machines uh, without touching it 
so to speak, unattended installations, getting them to talk back and forth, and then just slowly building basically a micro enterprise uh, environment where you pretty much do everything and you touch a little bit of of all of this stuff. And then by the time you're done with this, you know, he says you could roll right into a senior role. You know, I don't know if, if that would be enough, if, if just doing all of this would give you enough experience because, you know, even, you know, right, obviously right here, he says set up a KVM hypervisor. Well, you know, that's not an easy, I mean, it's not a hard step, but you know, you got to go figure out, okay, what's a KVM hypervisor? Okay, what's the command to start one? How do I access it? How do I add a, you know, a, a virtual machine? How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I set it up? How do I, you know, assign the RAM? How do I, you know, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot that goes into this. So it's, it's not as simple as just meh, but at the same time, you know, you're not coming into somebody's already production environment that they've got running and looking at their documentation and being like, okay, you've got 57 virtual machines here. What does what? How do I, you know, tweak this? One of them's not working. Why? How do I troubleshoot? You know, oh, because you're running this hardware, you're having this issue, or because you've got these server setups, they don't talk together, et cetera, et cetera. So this is going to give you a taste of a lot of different technology, but it's probably not going to give me enough, <laughs> in my opinion, to roll right into senior roles. Uh, it might let me get into a, uh, a slightly better than junior position and quickly move up. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping it will at least give me the ability to talk the talk and have enough of a um, springboard to advance my career. So we'll see. Uh, but we're going to basically be breaking down, you know, this is 20 steps. This probably will be a lot more than 20 videos. Um, you know, we're going to be covering all of the different stuff that's inside of this at a little bit at a time, uh, mainly through, you know, CLI console. It's not going to be the most riveting of content for those of you guys who uh, are used to my gaming footage uh, but it, it should still be uh, it should still be enough uh, I am going to do a you know kind of a tweet uh, and uh, you know promote this on my main gaming channel for those that might be interested but then we're going to basically separate those and uh, these are going to be complete two different separate channels uh, and that, that will basically be the end of that so you know if you're not going to ever see gaming content here. You know, you might occasionally hear me reference it, but this is this is more or less going to turn into kind of a portfolio for an eventual, you know, interview down the row or, you know, for me to show, you know, knowledge and, and, and whatnot. So it's going to be separate from gaming. So if you're here for gaming content, that's that's not what this is about. But if you're interested in Linux administration, a virtualization and how different things work on computers at a beginner to advanced level, then it might be something you want to hang out and take a look at. You know, as always, I'm, I'm always open to, you know, constructive criticism, but this is, this is going to be a pure hobby for me. You know, I'm going to be learning a lot. I'm going to probably get stuck at several points in here. And, and as I said, you know, this is a, this is a secondary thing for me. So, you know, there's not going to be a designated upload schedule. You're not going to get daily videos. Uh, this may be, you know, a couple videos a week. It might even be a couple videos a month. Uh, inevitably, I'm going to get stuck and, you know, have to tear things apart and figure them out. And, uh, you know, maybe times I get frustrated and need a break for a bit or, you know, might get busy at work or with other things. So uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. But uh, I think this is going to be an interesting process. I think this is going to be a lot of really cool stuff uh, for us to, you know, look at and uh, me to kind of explain and try and uh, walk you guys through as I learn it myself. And, you know, in my opinion, that's always one of the best ways to learn is, uh, at least in my process, you know, when I first get on a job and I'm learning something new, like when I, when I first started working at my current company, you know, they had a lot of, it's like, okay, you know, this is how we image. I was like, all right, show me. And I documented every single mundane step on how they imaged the, the, the computer. And it's like, okay, thank you. I've got the process. Watch me do it. And then I did it myself. And then it's like, okay, now I'm going to tell you how I did it. And then at that point you walk, you basically teach. And that process, you know, you see, you do, you teach. And uh, by the time you're done teaching, it's usually a part of your soul at that point. And, you know, you, you should have most of the, the stuff knocked out. And basically, you know, this is going to be hard enough to do because um, I'm going to have to learn it. 
do it and then teach it more or less with uh, with YouTube. Uh, the cool thing about this though is because it's going to be completely separate from the gaming channel, uh, we will be able to technically break my contract with Twitch in the aspect that this is not gaming content. So we will uh, we will definitely be doing some live streams over here. Uh, where you guys will be able to watch me fool around with some of this stuff. And, you know, we're inevitably going to be working in some of the Python things that I've been playing around with in this, uh, you know, some scripting. And we're just going to see where it takes us, and hopefully it'll be an interesting ride. So, like I said, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, definitely subscribe to this channel so you can see where we go. Uh, my first video is going to be up pretty quick. It's going to be some basic stuff, uh, but it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be another step in this process that we go down. So let me know, as always, if you guys got any questions in the comment section down below. I do read all of my comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you guys are excited about the series. If you are, please slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.